There we go, we've launched. This is flowing fast. Crumbs. Watch your girl. I've just set off, but this is quite a fast flowing um, river. So I'm not going to go to. Oh yes I am now, yeah I'm, I've actually got in there, but I couldn't park where I wanted to because the car park was full, I've had to put the canoe by the side of the bank then go and park the car and then after that go away, but this, this river apparently goes all the way down to Sandwich, so it's a long one and there's a canoe in front of me, um, you know with looks like about three or four people in, um, but uh, it's quite, quite nice. I'm well out of Canterbury, but it took me a while to get down here. The traffic was awful. Can you see all the, re uh, the uh, weeds moving around? Just give you an idea, there is quite a current here. So I'll have to be a bit careful, I think. Very nice river to... Uh, go all the way down to the sea I would imagine it would be lovely just get dropped off and away you go that would be superb I don't think with the current that I've got here that it's going to be so good for me doing an out and return so I've got to be a bit careful how far I go down seems great that I've got another decent day how about that Superb. Excellent. Blue sky, 27 degrees. Amazing. Well impressed. Avenue of trees. The beauty about this is you wouldn't have to do anything at all on this river to get down to the sea. I'm doing about three mile an hour above the speed of the river. That's all. So I'm not really paddling at all. This is really down to the current that's taking me. I don't know if you can see this, but this water is so clear. It just looks like you could drink it. It is so clear, it's untrue. My goodness. It's absolutely crystal. That's stunning. As I say, we're just really moving along with the current here. I'm a little bit weary as I've not been in anything like this before. Just wondering how, how difficult it's going to be to get back. So I set myself a, a time at about quarter past three. Um, I think if I set my time at about quarter past three, it'll give me an idea how much longer it will take to, uh, to get back. I certainly don't want to push it too far. So I'm just I'm just moving along with the current. I'm not really doing anything. Just the occasional bit of paddle just to just to straighten me out. I 
can understand why people would like this because if you get on it you just point your nose and you go down to Sandwich which is quite a long way and I would think it's very popular but the current is quite strong I would say the current here is looking at the stuff on the uh, on the water we're doing about um, well, we're doing a good three, three and a half mile an hour. Definitely. So it's going to be fun paddling up. I'm just, I'm not putting any input in at all. And we're moving along this fast. If you look at the bank, there you go, give you an idea. I'm not, no input at all from me. So it's quite strong. But then again, it's quite nice too. This is very unspoiled. Very nice. Look at that, lovely. Bit of scenery as well. That looks quite impressive, doesn't it? Very nice down here. Oh, I can understand why people like to kayak and canoe this. This looks lovely. Beautiful. It's a lovely little river, isn't it? It's lovely. It's beautiful. Well impressed. I don't want to go too far downstream though. <laughs> It's not too bad going up. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a smile while you're on camera. Oh, hello. <laughs> that does. <laughs> Enjoying it? Beautiful. It is, isn't it? Wonderful. After that bit of excitement from the young lads, <laughs> back to paddling. And this is only the start of the summer of this. <laughs> if you paddle down here with the current, you can make a good seven, eight miles an hour 
no problems at all and that's just very very gentle so you could certainly knock up the mileage doing this run Still very beautiful and unspoiled. This is really nice. The water here is still crystal clear. It really is. Loads of dragonflies again. Not that many birds. But you can't have it always. But this is certainly a very nice river to canoe. It's lovely. For what I've seen it's wonderful but unfortunately I've got about another 15-20 minutes, no more. It's just gone 25 past 3 and I've got the current to contend with going back. I don't want to go too far down otherwise it's going to be a struggle getting back. And I don't want to be worn out. Well, that's a surprise. This has opened up into like a massive lake. Cool. Look at this. What's it say there? Private, no access. But obviously people do. My goodness, look at that. That is a big lake, isn't it? Look at the size of that. Oh, that is a surprise, that is massive. But of course, private no access. I wonder why. That's huge. And there's a little island. And I take it this is the navigation channel, this little thing over here. It must be because it's no access. That's the only other place it can be. That's a surprise. Should be able to identify that on the map quite easily big enough lake fed directly off of the river itself. Train going by. And Swan's got some signets in tow over there. I don't know if you can see them. It's a very wide angle lens. going a bit further than what I should do. 25 to 4 now. I'm sure I can get back all right. I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's going to be the same old adage again, isn't it? I'll just go around the next bend and see what's happening down there. <laughs> Once I go around the next bend, I'll be happy. <laughs> well, I've been naughty. I've gone around the corner and done some more. <laughs> and I'm having a look. And as you can see, it's quite nice here. It really is. I've got the wind in my face, so I've got that on the back on the way back, which will aid my progress. And the countryside just goes away and then goes up a little bit. I'm running adjacent to the railway. And as I say, you could make really excellent time down here if you wanted to. But it is really nice. I have to say that if I wanted to paddle something again, I would do this one. I think this is lovely. Mind you, parts of the Medway come up to this, but you can get some good scenery that I'm looking at. I'm a bit higher than the camera, um, and uh, it's, it's looking quite good. 
it really is nice. Well, I did say I'd turn round at quarter to four, so this has got to be my turn round point. So I've got to turn round and go back upstream now into the current, but I will have the wind at my back. As you can see, I didn't go down too far. Um, just past that great lake and the factories over there with their big roofs should be easily identifiable on Google, Google Earth. So I'll have to have a look, but I certainly don't think I've come far at all. And then again, I started off late. Um, can't expect much, can you really? Anyway, back we go. So it's quarter to four. This place is. It says private, no access. Good lord. Look at a little fella on the top. He's not worried about me, is he? Hello, mate. It's a hell of a size lake. It really is. Anyway, I won't intrude. going upstream <laughs> it's more difficult not paddling hard but you can see the difference This is like air speed and ground speed in the wind on an aeroplane. <laughs> dear oh dear, I've got good air speed, but I've got bugger all ground speed. main current as much as I can, that will make it a bit easier for me. But sometimes when you've got the, the weed there, I can't put the paddle in far for fear of it getting grabbed. So sometimes it's only short. Oh, you look like you're enjoying the sun, boys. Oh dear, I hope to live in the country. Get a smile. <laughs> enjoying it. Time is just coming up at 25 to 5. Don't think I'm making bad time actually. Had a nice chat with the other guys in the canoe and they've done some camping. They say that one you, once you get past or down to something grove or something, then it's not so good. It just opens up into fields. But Apparently this is the best stretch, but there you go, but you have got the paddle back upstream, so it'll be interesting to see 
how long it takes me to get back to Fulbridge from where I was at when I have a look up there, when I look it up on Google Earth. We'll see what happens. But it's certainly a bit harder paddling back. We're still making good time. And the kayak moves very easily through this. Certainly a darn sight easier than a canoe where you've got to have some kind of telepathic link with the guy either in front or behind you. So, certainly teamwork. I think that with one of those canoes, you could, if it was a man and wife team, <laughs> it'd either make the marriage or it'd end in divorce. <laughs> right, sun should be off the lens now. Look at this. Beautiful. Paddling through a tunnel of trees. As long as none of them fall on me, I don't mind. <laughs> Just paddling gently. Get an idea how fast we're moving along the bank. Now back at where we started. So this is the the little bridge. Very good. Ah, 25 past five and I've got to say the most picturesque paddle that I have done so far. Not that I know much but it's been lovely. It really has.